Hello friends, let's learn practically how we can implement uh, planning in Design Studio. So uh, this is one of the application which I have created. So uh, the first thing is uh, we need to add the data source. So I just added one planning data uh, data source uh, or means which is created in SAP uh, uh, BW uh, we can say. So it has this uh, measures uh, with the year and uh, material group like that. So once we have this, uh, now the first thing is if you want to make it as planning means we we need to make um, this application as planning connection means we need to make uh, planning uh, here means when we are using a planning function we need to make uh, this as a um, planning uh, we we need to make uh, it is a planning connection so this this option we need to select. So whatever the connection we are having, it is a planning connection. That's what we uh, we wanted to suggest to the application. So uh, that we need to set first. Uh, let's add a spreadsheet uh, to the component, uh, to, to the canvas here. And uh, OK, so uh, let's let's assign this uh, data source as well. Means I just assign the data source. So this is a spreadsheet, which is uh, we can make it as a input ready. So the first thing to make it input ready, uh, we need to write a script for this. So what we need to do, uh, we need to check DS1 is in is input ready. If it is input ready, then we will make it as a configure input readiness as false. Otherwise, if it is not, then uh, we need to make it as a true. So that uh, whenever the user click on this application button, it will be if it is input ready, then uh, it is um, it will be make made as. Uh, false otherwise it is uh, made it as it's true so let's let's run this so this is the simple i don't have the calculation means or whatever i need to let's see means if it is uh, let's check means uh, whether we can add, enter any values or copy any values from here to here so uh, we actually um, this is not input ready means we cannot enter any values or we cannot change any values so let's uh, click on this uh, make it as input ready so and if you try to copy here uh, it will now copy so like this means we can edit it as well so uh, and we'll, we'll make it once we click on this it will change to uh, in false it will not be input ready so this is one property which we wanted to use uh, when we are using. So the configure input readiness is one function which we wanted to uh, use for planning. So, so this is one function. The other functions we can use like uh, save. Uh, let's let's take and uh, uh, so let's take a button here. It means uh, we'll, we'll make it as uh, We'll say as a reset, and on on click of it means we'll we'll just write a function that planning dot um, reset. So if you see means these are the different functions which are available on the planning. So client reset it reset rollbacks to the last executable uh, successfully recalculated state has client changes. If it will check whether it is having an un, uh, unsaved planning data has unsaved changes whether it is having unsaved planning data it is recalculating recalculate the changed planning data reset it will reset back to the last server uh, state and save will save so let's write this save function here and if i run this so basically it means whatever changes we are doing means uh, to the data sources means uh, suppose we are adding one uh, field or calculating and uh, so if you click on I will just copy here it is not input ready so first we need to make it as input ready if you want to make any changes and suppose this is um, reset so we wanted to make it as a reset means whatever the uh, with the last state so Actually, uh, this design studio application which I'm running locally, that's why it is uh, not uh, working properly. But anyway, means we can use these functions. So other functions we can use uh, copy, save. Um, so you will see this uh, means uh, by using this uh, planning. 
and one more thing is uh, we can add a planning objects as well as planning function and planning sequence if you having a planning function already created in this uh, um, in the in the design studio or uh, see this is these are the different different planning functions which are available so we can just take it one of them and we can use it uh, so uh, to execute suppose we wanted to write some functions so then we can write as in another button we can uh, write uh, as vf1 so this is a planning function which will use as execute so once you click on this it will be executed so this way we can use these different different functions so as uh, so this is a uh, okay so uh, then planning uh, sequence is one more concept which will uh, say means if you have any planning sequence means it will have multiple functions in a sequence so, so if it is created then we can add it here as well to uh, make it available in the planning application so this is the way means um, let's uh, see means these are the different different options which uh, we can use for planning recalculate we can use this recalculate option so this is the way means we can uh, utilize this application with the planning so planning dot save is one function which we can save means we can trigger a message uh, with whether it is saved or not or error so copy uh, so this is again uh, on copy means we can execute this function so it is it is copying from uh, row b1 to uh, b2 so that is uh, that is one function which we can uh, use uh, so this is one planning function which which is available and that can be used uh, in this uh, planning application okay so this will uh, show you means how it is um, so toggle input means if you want to make, make, make any changes if you want to reset it, 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 click on reset recalculate means if you are changing uh, if you want to save it, it will save the data means if after doing any changes copy from b1 to b2 that is what means uh, it is one planning function if you are aware means at what what is the functionality of, uh, or what what are the planning functions available then we can use these functions okay so this is the way means how we can use planning so basically there are for, uh, almost six functions which are available for planning that we can utilize and make it this uh, data set uh, input ready for the users Okay, so that's it from this video. I hope you have understood this concept. Uh, if you like my video, then please like it. Please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for watching.